There we go. Hello, Davy. Hello, you. Hello, psychopaths. Okay. We're getting right to it. I was drawn before I even started this damn fucking thing. I'm already feeling it. My first time tuning to one of your streams. What's up? Hi. Tonight we're going to listen to Sega Rally OST and we're going to watch this dude walk through an Akihabara arcade. I actually already watched through this while I was kind of doing my morning funkin' uh, chores you could say. Just getting my day started and reviewing art and doing all the things the director's got to do when you wake up at 8pm. Uh, <laughs> but now that it's 1am... I'm going to draw myself instead of reviewing drawings. Oh, damn it. That's funny. <laughs> oh, that's funny, isn't it? It's funny how life sneaks up on you like that. Your official said, Hey Dave, we interacted briefly on a call a little bit ago when you visited Cam. I want to say I'm sorry if I was weird or anything. I'm bad at talking to new people. I didn't think it was awkward at all. I thought it was fun. I remember you were like drawing some shit and I was just talking to you. It was chill. Or wait, no, you weren't drawing shit. You're playing uh you're playing Minecraft with like ray tracing on. That shit was funny. We don't got Subway Surfer, we got Dude Walks Through Japan. What are you doing today, Dave? Today, I'm drawing. Okay. And... So... I generally feel like I know what I want to draw. This will sketch out the main poses and then we'll animate. That sounds like a good plan. That always works. That always gets some shit done. Pico happy, what the F? Scary ass photorealistic snake from Peace Walker. Did the title not update to the stream? Is it still just saying fucking Fortnite? Damn it. I literally ended the stream and restarted it just to change the name. So I put in a stream title that had the F word for me. But then, uh, 
It was like, you can't do that. I was like, oh, okay. Hold up, I wanna see on my phone. I wanna see on my phone. I wanna see what the title of this is. Oh yeah, no, I have the I have the right title. I'm gonna check it. That shit's still weird that in Fortnite there was that thing with uh like I said week seven on the thing. We're gonna cut off of the footage there for one second. I wanna check something. that guy. Some of you might already know if you know this video what I'm going to be looking at. There we go. Fucking YouTube compression, man. Alright. So then... I'm gonna grab... A little screen grab of that. Okay. Now we can go back to watching Dude Walk Through Japan. complex. I guess his hand would go over his face. My hand would be like about like right there. Kinda, kinda. Sacred Burrito 34 says, I love these draw streams so much, but I haven't had the chance to hop in live till now. How enchanting. I get to spend my evening with Sacred Burrito 34, and by evening I mean my 1.30 a.m. Guys, I might be the luckiest guy on the planet. I want Scott Cawthon making FNAF scary 3D things at 3 a.m. I want to watch him be like, fuck. Jump scare doesn't look good enough. And just watch him fucking control Z and redo him 80,000 fucking times. I'll be like, wow, he's just like me. Except 30 and has a wife and kid and has a feature film. And he's bald. But other than that, he's just like me. So far, no wife, no kid. 
thankfully for the moment, no bad hairline. 28 and feeling good. Front and Funkin' movie coming soon. We'll see. That'd be pretty sick. There's a lot to do before then, though. There's a whole effing game to make, bro. Okay. Nailing down how we want him to look. I notice I try way harder on sketches when I'm on stream, which is so I don't even know why. I get like into a more zen state where I'm just cool with like cooking on a drawing for a billion years. You guys ever seen that dude in like Brazil or whatever, like dancing with that dog in the street? I want to make this shit look like that. I want this to be like some some booty bump and shit. Ice Oak Flamex, who voices you? It's you, dumbass. You're the one behind the stream, typing those fucking stupid ass comments and hitting enter. It's you, bro! FNAF collab win? Why is Freddy not in Fortnite? Like, literally, why is, why is that a thing? Or, like, not a thing? How come when I boot up Fortnite right now... Freddy just isn't there. Okay, so this pose is stiff, but it'll be a good starting point for where to change it. Also, I just want to say, I've still never played a mod, but I think, don't hold me to this, this this very well could never happen, but once updates out, and that will happen, that, that's the one guaranteed in this sense, when the updates out, I will play a mod for the first time ever, is my thought, and when I do, I want the first mod I ever play to be 17 bucks. I <laughs> gotta be good at base game to play Sigma Peak 17 bucks. Maybe. Am I even good at the game? I think so. I mean, I'm able to play like every other rhythm game ever on like a pretty good difficulty. I feel like the only thing is that, honestly, in FNF that hold me back is at times I feel like the, the charts, I feel like trip me up, but that's something that's being worked on right now. Making sure that the game is nice and fair. Okay, so this is definitely way too stiff, but it's a great starting point. Doesn't Japan vid just feel so good to watch on the side? It makes me want to make games watching this. How's my Halloween? It was pretty good. I met up with my damn little bro and the family. 
I like ran to Spirit Halloween with Corey and Jeff, and we looked over Halloween costumes that I could get. I don't usually dress up anymore, but since going with my little bro, I was like, you know what? Just to make the damn occasion, why not? So me and uh, me and Jeff and Corey looked over all the costumes. I wanted to find like a scary monster or like a really funny Fortnite costume. All the Fortnite costumes like super sucked and just were totally unfunny and. A lot of the costumes, honestly, like, kids are eating good, man. Like, a lot of the scary costumes that were there were just, like, for kids. Like, monsters and shit that's, like, covered in blood is, like, just that... There were no, like, adult costumes that were, like, super bloody or anything. And when I, like, they don't have the costumes that they had, like, an eternity ago. Where you can squeeze the little thing and pump blood into the mask. Or at least I couldn't find that. So, like... Because I was a kid, I always wanted that. My mom was like, that's too violent. Now I'm a grown-ass man, they don't sell it anymore. My mom was on the right side of history, and I'm just evil. There were slutty cop costumes, but I didn't really want to wear a slutty cop costume to hang out with my mom and dad. At least, not today. Oh, Jeff and the Smurf thing? Oh, yeah, he does it every year. Dips his face in the bucket of tar. The red lipstick. The little Smurf hat. Except this year he put on cat ears to make it more, like, trendy. Any tips for Liu Kang? Like in Mortal Kombat? I don't play that shit. The only Mortal Kombat I ever played is I played three as a kid. And I thought that was pretty cool. Okay. Jeff Bobo Bandolin. I don't get what that means, but I like what I'm hearing. Pickle Rick. <laughs> You know, I get you're saying that as like that could have been like a Halloween costume, but that comment with no other emphasis or anything just feels unhinged. Have the musical? I'm not really into musicals. I guess it, I guess it kind of already is one though, right? I should have spiked my hair like Goku for Halloween. Oh, at the in the end, after we looked through all the shitty Halloween costumes, it's kind of a cop out costume. But I thought it was sweet. I got the fucking stickman thing. It's like lazy as shit, but it still made me laugh. It's like the stickman thing where it's like all like a skin suit. I just wore it over like my jeans and shit. And like, uh, you turn on like the little lights, like the LEDs, and in the dark, it's like all you can see is the LEDs that like outline you like a stickman. Like I'm on Hyun's dojo. Top of the video up on the right is a guy in Akihabara. Akihabara.
You know, Mind Chamber has him like kind of like on like a lean. I wonder if I should like lean into that way hard. I guess I already am leaning into it way harder. I wonder if he should like crazy lean. I use the Cintiq 13 HD. I've used the 16 HD before and that's also pretty good and like a lot cheaper. When I started working on Nightmare Cops, Tom got me my first tablet ever, so that's a cherished memory. I guess it's a memory that's not even too specific to me though, because Newgrounds has like those tablet giveaways. So, keep if you need a tablet, keep your eye out for that. Newgrounds occasionally does do tablet giveaways. But yeah, because I was helping on Nightmare Cops, I was using just like a normal... I used like a bamboo pen to make the Smash Bros collab cartoons and everything before that. And then, um... Right after the Smash collab wrapped up, I switched over to Cintiq 13 HD. How much wood can a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck... Could chuck cock. Did you fuck him for it? <laughs> Asked by Dogger the Dog. Well, Dogger the Dog, thanks for tuning in. Uh, no. I didn't fuck Tom Fold for the tablet. Ha! Huh. It's a funny question, though. Thanks for stopping by. Next caller. Chaos Arts tipped five dollars and said, "Don't know if you noticed, that <laughs> B-Sides mod had a literal Phantom Arcade as the background for the week. You're the coolest, Dave. Thanks, Chaos Arts. And then right under that, he tagged a photo, and it looks like a photo of me drawing right now, reading his comment from outside. That's kind of weird." <laughs> AI's getting crazy these days, I guess. What am I working on? I'm working on Le Week 8 Two Years Theft Crack Game, dude. I'm working on the biggest scam in all of America and maybe even the world. work off in the Newgrounds office. I forget whether I was answering this on stream or if me and Cam were just earnestly talking about this one night we'll make in the game, but it, uh, it'd be Jeff. It'd be Jeff. Corey would have the most heart, um, but it would be Jeff. If Tom tried, Tom could win, but there's something in my heart that says for as much as Jeff would hate it, he would still win. Like, if it was between, like, being tied to a car battery and being shocked to death, or giving the best twerk of his life, I think Jeff would damn make it, basically. Is FNF coming out this year? I want it to. I think I've said before that to not think too hard about any of that stuff. Also, I'm gonna turn the audio on for this. I don't know if that'll make the stream too insane. Seeing Melee, I just feel like the audio needs to be on at least slightly. Yeah, see, hearing Mario just slightly in your peripheral ear, doesn't that just feel kind of good?
the V slice or the update is like what's coming next for FNF. Shingy calling it a V slice, I feel like it's kind of weird because. I don't know. It's not like we're taking up, like. I don't, well, I don't know, just V-Slice, I feel like I picture that kind of differently in my mind. The, the next update is just that, it's the next update. It's just gonna have the the next batch of content, or at least some of it, that we've prepped. It's gonna be a good majority of all the content. And then there's of course a lot we'll be holding back, but like, a lot of that is... I mean, there's like a full game being worked on. Written, drafted, sketches, all like music, all that stuff that like, of course... You know, a lot of which just isn't really totally polished. We're focusing up on polishing and finishing the batch that we want to release to the public right now. <laughs> Alright, I'm overstimming by looking up Pico on my phone. So I don't have to... Oh, the what? The Akihabara video is ending? It's, it's only 20 minutes? No... Tokyo Akihabara Arcades. Uh. This probably isn't gonna be as soulful, but it's still probably pretty good. That last video was so dope. Okay. And Pico on my phone. I'll lean him right up on my TV. Cause look, see what I see what I'm drawing right now. It's like the anatomy for this stuff. My art style is like slowly changing, so I've got to be a little careful. What am I doing? I'm drawing Pico, bro. I can probably get away with shrinking his body a bit like this. Yeah, buddy. Um, oh, oh, I can put this forward to give him more of a lean. Oh, I like that. Oh, I like that. Yeah. Okay. Kind of like a cheap way to like really put him back. Yeah, look at that. Now he's, now he's really going for it. Bro's into it. See, look at that. It makes all the difference. This drawing program is Adobe Flash CS4. boy is breaking it down that's the goal here until Pico feels like he could be dancing to any of the music that you're hearing right now this piece is not done <laughs> the shoe needs to be like a little taller there we go Sega Rally music? Oh, we're about to be. <laughs> I've used Animate before. I was working for uh, Pencilmation for a little bit. And uh, I didn't think Animate's that bad. I don't think it's that great. I don't think it's that bad. I'm gonna turn up the music slightly because I always feel like I leave it too low on these streams. Pencilmation is a YouTube channel that does like uh, clickbait kids cartoons. But they're like high quality clickbait kids cartoons. And he pays like fledgling animators, so I would actually say that. Despite that they are just another YouTube channel. Uh, the guy's like from Newgrounds and he mostly employs like a lot of Newgrounders. So I'll give him a pass for it. He employed me. That makes me like him a lot more than I like other people. Because <laughs> I got to benefit from it. Yeah, I mean, Pennsylvania's weird where it's like 
I don't really think it's anybody's dream job except for the guy who makes it. But, uh... It's just like a good starting out place. But at the same time, if you were, like, when I worked at McDonald's, if you said you didn't like working at McDonald's, they'd be like, YOU WHAT?! And it's like, well, yeah, no shit, I don't fucking like working at McDonald's, you assholes. I'll move the feet back a bit. Did I mess it up? That does kind of mess it up. Does it? Yeah. Alright, you know what? Fuck it. Look, we went from this... What? Dude, soulless to soul. That's pretty, I'm pretty happy with that, generally. Alright. And then we flip it, because he'll flip both sides. Hey, That doesn't look bad. Flipped! That makes my life good and easy. This shoe needs to be tilted a bit, and I think both shoes need to be kind of just like bigger. They kind of feel small. Oh no, the Sega Rally music is over. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Okay, I'm gonna look for a secret new album for all of us to listen to. And uh... Everybody, my name is Markiplier and welcome to Five Nights at Freddy's, an indie horror game that you guys suggested en masse and I saw that Yami Mass played it and he said it was really, really good. So I'm very eager to see what is up. And that is a terrifying animatronic bear, family pizzeria looking for a security guard to work the night shift. Oh. 12 a.m. The first night. If I didn't want to stay the first night, why would I stay any more than five? Why would I stay any more than two? Hello. Okay. Hello? Hello? Oh. Oh, I can't move. That's a creepy skull. There's creepy things on the wall. Oh, hello. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi. Uh, I wanted to record a message for you to help you get settled in on your first night. Ugh. Um, I actually worked in that office before you. Uh. I'm finishing up my last week now, as a matter of fact. So, 
I know it can be a bit overwhelming, uh, but I'm here to tell you there's nothing to worry about. Uh, You'll be fine. So let's just focus on getting you through your first week. Okay, okay? sounds good. Uh, okay. uh, let's see. First, there's an introductory greeting from the company mm -hmm. that I'm supposed to read. It's kind of a legal thing, you know. Um, welcome to Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Okay. A magical place for kids and grown-ups alike, <laughs> where fantasy and fun come to life. <laughs> Fazbear Entertainment is not responsible for damage to property or person. <laughs> Upon discovering that damage or death has occurred, a missing person report will be filed within 90 days or as soon as property and premises have been thoroughly cleaned and bleached and the carpets have been replaced. Blah, blah, blah. Now, that might sound bad, I know. Yeah. But there's really nothing to worry about. Uh, the animatronic characters here do get a bit quirky at night, but do I blame them? No. <laughs> if I were forced to sing those same stupid songs for 20 years and I never got a bath, I'd probably be a bit irritable at night, too. So remember, these characters hold a special place in the hearts of children, and we need to show them a little respect. Okay. Right? Okay. Okay. So just be aware, the characters do tend to wander a bit. Uh, <laughs> no, they some kind of free-roaming mode. Uh, something about their servos locking up, they get turned off for too long. Uh, they used to be allowed to walk around during the day, too. But then there was the bite of 87. The bite? Yeah. What bite? And it's amazing that the human body can live without the frontal lobe. Why? Uh, now, concerning your safety, the only real risk to you as a night watchman here, if any, is the fact that these characters... Uh, if they happen to see you after hours, probably won't recognize you as a person. Oh, oh! So they'll most likely see you as a metal endoskeleton without its costume on. Now, since that's against the rules here at Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, they'll probably try to forcefully stuff you inside a Freddy Fazbear suit. Oh, I get it. Um, now, that wouldn't be so bad if the suits themselves weren't filled with cross beams, wired, and animatronic devices. Uh -huh. Especially around the facial area. Uh -huh. So you can imagine how having your head forcefully pressed inside one of those could cause a bit of discomfort. Yeah! And, uh, uh, the only parts of you that would likely see the light of day again would be your eyeballs and teeth and pop out the front of the mask. Uh -huh. Oh, what? What happened? Yeah, they don't tell you these things when you sign up. But hey, first station of the breeze. I'll chat with you tomorrow. Uh, check those cameras and remember to close the doors only if absolutely necessary. It's not good! Power. All right, good night. Good night! Oh, no! Oh, that's bad! I understand what I need to do. I need to watch the cams so that they don't come after me. What's the missing? Oh, hi! There you are, pretty bunny thing. Okay. Okay. Okay, I get it. I get it. I get it. Where'd you go? You're still there? All right, you stay there. I don't know if it's good that you're staring at me. Oh my god. I thought it was weird that it couldn't move. But this is totally different than any horror game I've ever played. So what you got to do in case you're not getting it is you got to watch the cameras to make sure they don't come by and you only got a little much power. Is he still there? Hi, you're still there. Wait a minute, what? Did you move? Okay, you didn't move. You don't move neither. You don't move nothing. I don't see you moving. I don't want to see anything. Oh my god. That's terrifying. Why do I leave the doors open? Why isn't there enough power? Hi. Okay, you moved again. Hi. What are you doing there? You might be getting a little close to me. Uh oh. Oh, oh no. Oh no, 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 no. No, 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 close the car, close the car, you gonna get me? Okay, you're over there. All right. It's okay. Why can't I even have enough power for lights? Stay right there, you douchebag. You stay right there, up there. God damn it. That is like, this is like the most terrifying game I've ever played. They're gonna pop out at me. Oh God, he's gone. Hi, okay. You're just gonna alternate between the two places. It's totally fine. Your other friends, they ain't moving. They ain't moving. I see where I am. You're not near me. So that's good. Just gonna periodically check. How much longer do I need? I need to last till 6 a.m. Oh god, am I gonna have enough power? Oh god, if I run out of power, will they be able to get me? Oh god. Just 
stay right there. Why am I still using some power? Oh God. Seriously, I'm one this is like this is like bad. Okay, you're still there. Okay. This is the first night. They said it should be easy the first night, so I'm only assuming one of them is gonna be wandering around and it's just a creepy bunny guy. Happy fun time at Freddy's fun land. Having such a wonderful time. Still there? Okay. You're still there. I'm gonna name you Bunny Ball today. Oh god, where'd he go? Oh god, is he here? Oh! Did he go? Hi again, okay. You stay right there. I don't wanna have to deal with you. Probably shouldn't do that. I need to conserve power. God damn it, I was like half the damn thing. The, I think the doors were down. Still there. Okay. 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 <laughs> I hear that? I hear that? Oh God! Where's the other one? Where is he? Where is he? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where are both of them? Both of them? Hi, you're really close to me! Oh God, it's not 6 a.m. yet. Hi. Okay. So I think I just need to keep the left door closed. Uh, 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 what are you gonna do? Is the other one still there? Uh, hi! Oh, you moved again! Where, 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 where? where? <laughs> what do I do? What do I do? Oh, you're still right behind that door! Oh, what happens if I open that door? I'm gonna run out of power! Oh, I'm gonna run out of power! Is he there? I don't wanna do. <laughs> I don't want to die. Ah, what was that bar? Ah! Oh no! Oh no! No 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 no! Oh no 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 no! no. Hi! Oh God damn it! How are you doing? Again. Why would I do this, stupid job? <sighs> okay. Okay. So I ran out of power. But. Oh, hi. Hi again. Do you have any sage advice for me? Yep. Okay. Yep. I know. Yep. 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 What can I do for you? I know! Oh, God. Oh. Oh. No. Uh, interestingly enough, Freddy himself doesn't come off stage very often. I heard he becomes a lot more active in the dark, though. So hey, <laughs> I guess that's one more reason not to run out of power, right? <laughs> uh, I also want to emphasize the importance of using your door lights. Uh, there are blind spots in your camera view, and those blind spots have to be right outside your doors. So if, if you can't find something. Or someone on your cameras, and you check the door light. Uh, you might only have a few seconds to react. Uh, not that you would be in any danger, of course. Uh, I'm not implying that. Uh, also, uh, check on the curtain in Pirate Cove from time to time. The character in there seems unique in that he becomes more active if the cameras remain off for a long period of time. Uh, I guess he doesn't like being watched. I don't know. Uh, anyway. I'm sure you have everything under control. Uh, 
Uh, talk to you soon. Where's Pirate Cove? Why are you gonna go leave me with this? Don't leave me like this! Where's, where's Big Yellow? There's Big Yellow. Is he still there? Is he still there? Yes, you're still there! Very good! Very good! Oh, don't like this! Is he still there? I'm still gonna run out of, okay, he left. Okay. Okay. We're okay. We're gonna be fine. We're gonna be totally fine. We're gonna be fine. Hello. Hello, Bubsy. Where's the other guy? Where's the other guy? Where is he? 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 Where? Oh, there. Okay. He's not the. Hey! Hey, Freddy! How you doing? Okay. Are you gonna be nearby? Stay there. Where's the other one? Where's the other one? Where's the other one? There he is. Okay. I am panic. I am losing my shit right now. I'm not okay with this. Oh god, not again! No, 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 do that! No, no, no! Don't you be. Oh god! Hey, he's right outside the door! Hey! Hey! Okay, I'm gonna keep an eye on you! You're not. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Okay. God, this night is lasting forever! Ah, it's not like it. it's not, it's not, it's not okay! <laughs> okay, so one's by a high. Let's eat! Let's eat what? Are you still there? Okay, he's gone. Good. Stay gone forever and ever and ever and ever. Oh, you're coming back! Either that or you're leaving. Oh, I'm not gonna have enough fun as I'm tonight. My butt is gonna be munched. I'm gonna be shoved into a teddy bear outfit, and they're gonna laugh. Where is he? Where'd he go? Ah! Oh, that bunny wants to get my giblets, but he can't have them. Not today. Not ever. Good thing Freddy is staying in his house. Hi, Mr. Wait, bunny, you were just outside my door. Ducky. Where's Mr. Zamet? No, no Ducky there. Where's my- Hi! <laughs> Hi, Mr. Ducky. God, this night is lasting so long! I just want to go home! I never want to play this game again! I'll be a good boy! God damn it. This would be, like, terrifying if you controlled the cameras with, like, an Oculus Rift or something. Oh my god. Cause you just move your head back and forth. Oh my god. Hi again. Where's the other one? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. Okay, as so long as you two stay right there. Yeah, that'd be good. You look very pretty. Where was the Pirate Cove guy? Oh, here's Pirate Cove. Okay. So I just gotta... Whew. I just gotta keep an eye on you guys. Gonna be fine. Oh, I, I bet using the camera takes power too. I'm down to 34%. I got three hours to go. No. You're still there. You're still there. You're still there. You're looking at me now. Hi, Pirate Cove Man! Ah! Ah! Oh, where'd they go? Right there. Still there? Pirate Cove Man! What are you doing? Oh man, I love working at Disney World. It's my favorite. Hi, what are you doing out of your cage? Please, get back in. I don't want you out of here. Oh, he's coming for me. Oh, he's coming for me. Oh, why do I have to watch three of them? I am like legit freaking out right now. I'm not okay with this. Oh God, they moved. Where'd you move to? Oh, you're coming down the hallway, huh? Which one are you? You're not left Pirate Cove yet. You're still there. Coming down that hallway. Pirate Cove man. How you doing, Pirate Cove man? No. I got two hours left. No, no, no. No. What's that sound? Oh, he's right there. Well, he's not here just yet. I don't want to run out of power. 
Oh, the sounds, I don't like them. Oh, fuck! No! Oh, yes! Yeah! Ah! Fucking fuck! I tried to push it! Oh, my God! Oh! Oh! Oh, game over indeed! Oh, are those my eyeballs? Oh! <laughs> oh, hi. Okay. So that was Five Nights at Freddy's. I couldn't even survive two. God damn it. Ha! Oh, God. Oh, I tried to hit the door. I tried so bad. Okay, thank you all so much for watching. Check out the other scary games that I played, and if you want to play this for yourself, you can check it in the description below. If you really want me to play it again and try to beat it, let me know in the comments below. Thanks again, everybody. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye!
guy is prime for one piece. Alright, we'll do one piece. We'll do one one piece opening. Alright, we're about to hit the good part. We were like right at the drop. I need to watch this real fast. Okay, wait, hold up. Get it frame by frame in it. Just doing his funny little foot thing. And then. Okay. Okay, okay. I was wondering, like, uh... Yeah, alright. I see, I see. I see what I need to see. Alright, we'll give this a couple more seconds at the drop again. doing that one piece opening that one's horrible <laughs> that one makes me upset right, youtube just made an auto mix of shit and you know what fuck it we'll roll with it Okay. Trying to master the magic of low budget streams, so I'm glad you think so, Churro Man. I mean, really, I'm just putting on shit that I want to fucking see. It's like, fuck it, man. I want to fuck. I'll, I'm just doing what I was doing before. I like, I was sitting on the couch and I was animating on the mobile pro, and then I was like, fuck it, man. I was like, I want to just watch the damn guy walk through Japan. I want to listen to the damn music I've been listening to. And I want to draw. But I, I knew I've been wanting to stream for like a week, I just kept waking up too late. I don't like this 
shoes moving. There we go. The best One Piece opening is the four kids intro, and I'm sick of pretending it's not. Sorry that you're an idiot. The stream isn't gonna enable you and your fanatical views. If you're a fucking idiot, we're gonna fucking tell ya. We're gonna try and key out like four poses for this and see how that goes. This might look bad for a while until it doesn't. And that's what we're gonna figure out. I've kind of been dreading doing this one for like a long time. Ooh, ooh. See, this is what we want Pico dancing to. Yeah, buddy! That is, like, not really extreme enough, I don't think. I never went to school for animation. <laughs> no. You know, I realized I had my reference up for Pico's Anatomy, and I only barely changed it, really. But that's okay. Yeah, the software doesn't really matter when you're an artist. You can make good shit with anything. It might even be better to start out with a program that's, like, not too intensive. I learned to animate using Happy Harry's Hoo-Ha two how-to's, the tutorial. Yo, it's kind of starting to look cool. Yo.
Yeah, Top, I saw that you've been making like little clothes for the Nendo. That's adorable. Anybody who's posted photos with the Nendo or the posters that are arriving, that stuff all makes me very happy. Oh, that's what I wanted to stream so people could see some of this shit. Oh, fucking damn it. Picked the wrong one. Quiet all song. Eleven thirty two PM one AM. Oh, everybody's posting their times. That's 2.34 for me. I made sure to go to Wawa and grab snacks beforehand. What are the snacks tonight, you might ask? I'm not even sure what all of what I'll have. Well, definitely coffee. I got the Starbucks coffee with me. I got the fucking... Listen, drinking soda will turn you into, I won't mince words, a fat idiot. But Gatorade Zero, not bad, not effing bad. So, 
If you have a sweet tooth that you have to crave because you're a dumbass like me, Gatorade Zero is not bad. Uh, got the damn smart water. Dave, you could get some rest. You can wake up and eat a big fat stack of pancakes. I mean, that's what I should do, but mine just woke up at 8 p.m., man. Uh, and then I got the Celsius. Mr. Chris O'Neill. Mr. Chris O'Neill got my ass on the Celsius. I didn't know those things had 200 milligrams of caffeine. That's not good. A flavor of Celsius on my desk. I'll let this sit in here for a few days just for when I need it. I got sparkling orange. So that one's like the best one I had at Chris's house. It's very tasty. My liver started hurting when I was staying with him. Cause I just had like a bunch of Celsiuses cause I didn't know that they had like, like, what the fuck? Hold up. Or wait, 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 wait. Hold on, wait. Is that. Am I getting like crazy trolls? Is that this fucking video? Like a girl yelling? The fuck? Sound like fucking somebody yelling. What the hell? This video, this video might be trolling me. This might be the Silent Hill 3 troll. Hold up a second. No, I was getting trolled. That's definitely just the fucking... That's definitely just the fucking thing. I think it trolled the fuck out of me. I remember, man, one time I was playing Silent Hill 3, and like... Man, it, it has like a part where they knock realistically on the wall next to you. That's some evil shit, man. Because like... That really fucking got my ass at the time. Okay. Too nostalgic, you know this place. Also, you see these, this not here, these figures on the rack are beautiful. See that sign that says Q Posket? They might show some Q Poskets in this video. You might have seen some at your local mall or like anywhere else. Q Poskets, quite, they might just have to be the nastiest, ugliest, shittiest toys I have ever seen in my entire fucking life. No joke. They are like Cabbage Patch Kids but turned into like anime characters. They like, they have the definition of like small, nasty like four year old faces, but as anime characters and they suck. They need to be destroyed. I don't know who's buying them. They're horrible. Seeing them makes me sick. When I look up figures of any anime character and I see a cute posket ever, or I see one at the mall, I want to vomit. I despise the cute posket. And I hate the person who invented it.
Maybe this sh should be more like... This is the cute posket shit. It's horrible. That Pikachu he's got back there. That, that helps make me not nauseous. Ew! This is fucking terrible, man. Awful. Damn it, I lost my place in guy walking through Tokyo thing. Oh, okay, wait. We're back by the arcade cabinets. Yeah, sorry. Sorry for no cute Posca trigger warning there. That was horrible and uncalled for of me. if I break his arm at like a really unnatural angle if it'll kind of make the animation look like more dramatic we'll see we'll see
Let's see it. I might have just broken the loop. Let's check it out. That's pretty good. I didn't animate his head moving though. I think that's the part of the issue. Yeah, this looks. <laughs> it could be better, but it's not bad. Okay. Is this awesome? 
Did I like the other ones better? Would it be better if his head was still kind of in the old position and then snaps up? Like if his head is delayed. Let's see that, I might have just ruined it. Oh no, I like that, that looks good. Yeah, cause that looks like he's really throwing it back. Okay, cool. Yeah. Yeah, it makes it like less, uh, less stiff. Oh, it's Gene, uh, J-E-A-N was lonely. Gene, like, pair of jeans, that kind of spelling. Which way does the guy from Samurai Champloo have it? I just want to help whoever's looking for that find that song. It's like it's not that many frames, but it's like for all the frames it doesn't have, it's like just smooth enough. I'm starting to like this.
since I played Mario Wonder. I'm on like World 6, and I've found... I've gotten like most of the pieces of like everything. Sam... Sam Mad Bay. Yo, suckers. Tapa, this is this is puffy Tapa. It's puffy. Persona 3 Rear Look's gonna be awesome. And Mario Wonder is very good. Mario Wonder's like very, very good. I'm actually gonna lower the music for just a minute to talk about that. So for like Mario Wonder, I think like a huge appeal of it is like just the weird, like, asymmetrical, like, online, like, it feels so weird for, like, a Mario game to have that. And it feels good. Uh, like, it feels like it kind of just almost should have had it, like, all along. I feel like it should have had it since, like, New Super Mario Bros. 2. Night, Siermi's official. Wait, how the hell do you say that? Simisir official. There we go. It's like saying it front and back. Simisir. It's like going up the teeter totter and back down. Okay, you know, I cut this in a spot that actually I'm not. I think it will do better.
Yup. <laughs> there we go. Chat conversation is getting interesting. BF is the kind of guy to tuck you in at night. I suppose it's not impossible. perspective. BF smooches the homies good night, definitely. I mean, who here has played Mario Wonder? Now you guys have been wondering about that. You know, Jeff and Corey, they were like, not really into it. Which, I guess, you know, I'm not going to fault them for that. I think if you're a big Mario fan, it feels pretty, like, incredible. Because it's, it's like the change you've always wanted. It's, it's what I wish Mario could have been for so long. I'm not done it yet. I'm, like, right at the end. I've been playing too much Counter-Strike, too. Definitely need a lot of work, but I'm not gonna worry about it right this second. <laughs> Super Mario RPG only a week away. I never beat the original. I don't beat the original. I have that just from when I was a kid on Super Nintendo. Yeah, her song Superstar is fucking horrible.
this fucking song. Why would I pick this fucking song? I was hearing this, I was like, why do I know what the fuck this is? I was like, oh, Meta Cooler song. I'll allow it just this once. This might be a trick that just doesn't quite pay off, but we will f and see. This is the Hedgehog guy. Good ear. Oh, I think this is a trick that might be okay.
Can I get Jack Black to voice the dad? I'll be on it. Oh man, Alien Hominid HD coming out on Switch would be so awesome. The day that I saw that that was out, I woke up, got Alien Hominid HD on Switch, laid back down in bed, and beat it. And then, because it was weird playing it in 60 FPS, I put it in the disc on PS2, and beat it on PS2, to play it in its rightful 30 FPS, 4x3. And it was a good day, and it made me happy. And it made me excited to draw in Flash. He looks so fucking babyish and happy in this one. Oh my goodness, a two-headed BF drawing in the chat, what's, what's this world coming to? I'm trying to focus and draw Pico dancing and what do you do? You do that in chat. <laughs> Guess no good deed goes unpunished, huh?
<sighs> Why does who sound like Pico? It'd be funny if Tankman has a fucking annoying ass voice. What's happening in this video? What are you talking about? Wait, did I miss something? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I just saw that in the little thumbnail. That's funny, I wasn't even looking up at that. I was playing on a monitor above the thing. Hartina, you are just... Always a treat. If treats were things that you smash to fucking bloody pieces with baseball bats. It was probably a much easier way to do this, talking about that guy's question earlier, than I realized, but we are just going to do this the hard way. But I'm trying to do it like pretty easy. It'd probably be easier to do if it was faster, too. This is why I'm kind of glad I'm animating this now, because I feel like if the pose and everything has to change, I definitely want to know that as far in advance as possible.
damn it. <sighs> I was wondering, I was like, how is this in my little mix? Then I looked up what the title of it is, and now it makes sense. Oh, I do listen to this a lot. Ugh. We're getting fucking crazy with these symbols and so they're spacing, but we're going to get some good shit. It's going to look, it's going to be nice and smooth and cheap. It's going to use a lot of the same pieces, so it won't be hard. It'll be nice and intensive on the game. There's always people, still to this day, on the Newgrounds version of the game, people are just like, 
WTF, why does this fucking thing take so fucking long to load? So both for getting art done quick and for loading purposes, trying to get art, art done with minimal, uh, like, I mean, some of them have crazy frame counts. I guess compared to how it was, the frame counts look ridiculous, but like, I feel like it's all good. This frame looks rather silly, though. This frame is rather silly. <laughs> uh, I might have to just- that might need new art. Dude, don't even say it. Don't even, don't think it, don't say it, don't think it, don't say it, don't think it, don't say it. <laughs> I said don't say it. I said. That on. I already forgot. A frame 30. That's pretty terrible. Hello? Hello? The animatronics do get a bit quirky at night.
This is gonna take a damn minute to figure the fuck out. <laughs> oh, there's. I animated this in such a weird way where it's like. Ugh. Cause like the pattern for it's weird. The song is so good. The pattern for it's weird, so it's like. Having it ease back into it is not so easy. It's possible, it's possible. I got this. I got this. Okay? Everybody calm the fuck down. I got this. Fucking. I say Gundam Cafe? That's a, like. Yeah, look, that's the Gundam characters <laughs> in like. Christmas stuff? What? That's awesome. No joking during the FNAF movie, but me and Corey did soy face together. Me and Corey did <laughs> Cam and Wanda were talking about how they were bothered by everybody being so like mental during the film. That was me and Corey. We were watching that show. Oh, I, I picked a full theater for me and Corey and Ivan, all of us to go to. Fucking Mao Ling was there, the full crew, all there chilling out. And uh, no, Jeff couldn't get Jeff to go, <laughs> but like. Yeah, I mean, just like, I always come back. It's like, you know, all the fucking things. We were there to just fucking slowly look at each other and back to the screen with big pog face. Yeah, the, the fucking bite. It's like, the whole theater was losing it. So, I mean, cool, like, people would just shout stuff and, like, it's like one of the few movies where I felt like that was what I kind of wanted from it. You know, Evangelion, if people were doing that, I would just leave the theater. I would get upset. But, like, FNAF, it's like, yeah. I think the theater and, like, the fandom made the experience good. There's, like, YouTube comments playing in, like, real time during the film. How is everybody here? Did everybody here? I'm gonna read the comments for a second. But Af was just fun in general, was stupid fun. Yeah, I think it was pretty good. Yokohama Station? That's awesome. I hope one day I get to visit Yokohama Station. Uh, were there more adults than children? The average age seemed to be like somewhere between like 15 and 20. So it was like high schoolers and like young adults. Uh, I think the general age range was like high schoolers to like around uh, my age. Have I seen the Halloween mod update? No, I haven't. That sounds cool. Uh, I will try to check that out. Wait a moment for Angry Joe. <laughs> 
an Undertale movie. I don't think Undertale really needs a movie, but it would be neat. It would be neat if there's a way to like maintain the style. Like I won't lie, I kind of almost have it easy in that like I think FNAF already lends itself well to cartoons because it just is an extension of the cartoons I make. But like an Undertale movie, I think would need they, he would need to really think about what would it look like with the characters be anti-aliased weird would they be sprite-ish would he go traditionally hand-drawn um uh i don't know like it's very an undertale movie would be neat i don't think it'll ever happen for those reasons but it would be neat i mean it, i will never say never it could happen That'd be pretty awesome. I think people would definitely want to watch it, but I think Undertale is just like very much a game. I guess FNAF really is too, but like, I don't know. It's weird. Like, I think Undertale really thrives off of just being a video game, and that's kind of where a lot of its charm comes from. But I think, I bet Toby Fox, if anybody could translate that to a film, I mean, he could probably score it to be incredible. can use this head. I wonder if using this head would actually look decent here. Yeah, that looks good. Helps make it a little smoother. This isn't even the spot in the animation I wanted this to be. What the fuck? I want to be here. Okay, wait, I can do that a little bit better, I think. To the man with no life. Yeah, somebody said the far hand. Yeah, does the far hand just go out too far? Is that it? Kind of makes it like easier to watch though. It does look weird from this side though. <sighs> Lemonster, what's your perfect idea for an FNF opening song? Smiling Friends movie. A Smiling Friends movie would be so fucking funny. I mean, the show's hilarious, so it's not... Man. I got a Smiling Friends hoodie. It's my favorite fucking thing. I wear it, like, almost every day. I thought it was when I was out in LA. How many family guy will have a movie? And if they do, it's, like, too late. It's, like... 
Family Guy movie would have... Okay, if a Family Guy movie came out, it would get memed on so hard, but, like, a Family Guy movie a decade ago, I think, would have been watched unironically and, like, low. But I think if a Family Guy movie now... I don't know. I feel like it would get... It would be, wa it would be like, Morbius. It would be, like, uh... I feel like it would be something like that. Okay, let's try some... Well, actually, me messing with the frame favoring on this is gonna fuck up the thing we just did, but it's okay. Oh, that's way too crazy. Okay, let's check that out. That's got some sauce to it. This is a tough animation though. This is the one where you could, I feel like you could watch it forever. It's also like the shoulder is like crazy desynced. My bad.
That's pretty good, actually. This is Automatic from Hikaru Utada. It's pretty good. It's automatic. Oh. <laughs> this effing song. Which version of Flash is this? It's Adobe Flash CS4. It's Adobe Flash CS4. CS6. Ew. What the fuck is that shit? Is it like part of Gangnam Style or whatever? Rebuild stinks except for part 4. Part 4 of Rebuild is good.
Yeah, I feel like he's about to start doing Gangnam Style here. You guys in the chat are just damn simps. Hikaru Utada loves me. me delivering her pizza surprise bitch it's not pizza I love you that's what it is it's my love now I'm gonna help you raise your son cuz I'm his new father cuz you fucking love me cuz I animated Pico fucking dancing for three hours Gave to five dollars and said, "Say hi to my friend Crink, please, Dave." Well, Punk Ape tip five dollars, so basically, I'm a slave to his will. Hi, Crink. I have to say hi to you now. Looks at the ground awkwardly. Uh, well, Crink. Uh, hi. What's up, man? Guess we're guess we're friends now or something. You wanna play Budokai 3, I guess? animation just be faster? Is that what I'm seeing right now? Is that what I'm feeling in my heart of hearts? What does this look like sped up? Okay, so that's timed wrong now. I uh, can fix that. It doesn't feel like it's groovy. Ugh, that is me at 4 I'm a deal of going to A and W. I wish I was in Canada right now so I could go to A and W. Man, actually, some A and W would really fucking hit the spot. Yo, man, one night, who was it? It was Cam. When Cam was visiting here, he wanted like McDonald's at fucking. Fuck, man, like four in the morning. So he just got up and started to just drive out and like. Fuck, we could not find anything. Pico swings his arms faster than the original. I mean, technically they're like slower because it's like the time is up or whatever. I wonder, I don't know. There's something charming about the really low frame rate for this, but then it's like... What a higher frame rate and better. It's tough to say.
I gotta find something real fast. I'm just gonna search it on my phone to make it easy. Now Breckist is messaging me. Hold on, I gotta message Breckist. Slight note on some parts. I'm gonna type that out for a second. didn't even look up the thing I needed to look up. Wanda Boy's here. Your old account got banned. Why are you doing something inappropriate, Wanda Boy? Why can't you just say words that the rest of us say and not say those horrible words that you like to say? There's a part two to this that we've got to do. That video of Psy playing that concert live is fucking crazy. Crazy good. Anime songs party. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Just 
I have this one friend that just has almost every SpongeBob episode embedded into a Discord server he has made, and it's the most useful thing ever. That's pretty awesome. Crazy rough animation for a little bit. Why this fucking song? Give me this one. I didn't even know till recently, well, I guess it's been like a while at this point, but like I didn't know till way after I made week three that there was actually like a rapping section in Pico 2. And I think a breakdancing section, which is why we're doing this now.
Ew. Ew. Oh. Oh, actually, never mind. I wasn't feeling that intro, I was nervous you're about to get some dog shit, but it came out came out good. Crazy here for a bit. We're getting rough ass art. <laughs> Bro just goes for it. Uh, Pico, break dance. Yo. Why Spray Naples get ever post? I don't know. They're mysteries, they just do their thing. I think FNF is special to them and they really enjoy it, but I think that like I think me and Cam have really made it like our, our life's mission. Whereas like I think for uh, Evil Skater and Quiet Sprite, it's kind of just like, it's that game that they work on that they like a lot. I don't want to speak for them, I don't really know exactly. That's just kind of the vibe I get. I never really asked them. I mean, they're just kind of just doing their thing, really.
<laughs> he really just goes for it. That's gonna need more of a lead in. Right now it looks like fucking hilarious. Where it's just like, bro is chilling and then just goes into the most devious spin of his life. The like comical. It's like not dancing at all. Goku can revive birds, it is all good. I didn't play Spider-Man 2, but uh, I watched Cam play it, he likes that. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna be a hater, it's just kinda like whatever. I'm not really much of one for like the the cinematic games. There's definitely aspects of it that look awesome though, like don't get me wrong. Like I bet for those who enjoy it it's very fun and if you wanna watch a movie more than you wanna play a game, then there's that. Uh and like technically it's also like you know really impressive so like it's kind of fun to watch for that because I mean like there's really no denying that it's like beautiful fidelity wise uh, but then like I don't know I think almost object almost objectively you can't say for a hundred percent but almost objectively like the designs are like bad uh, like I feel like uh, just the suits, not for Spider-Man, Spider suits are interesting, but like enemy suits and enemy designs are just like fucking bland as shit and I don't know. I, it's funny because then, then there's people shitting on it who are like, um, what do we got in here? Give me this. Oh, I didn't know it was this one. I don't even know if I've heard this one yet. Oh, Solid State Scouter, yes. Uh, what was I about to say? That Bardock from last stream. Oh, the complaints, um... Yeah, yeah, that's right. That's right. all the people getting memed on for fucking wanting man the game. That shit's funny. Yeah, it's weird. So it's like, uh, there's like so many things that I would say are like actually genuinely wrong or not wrong. There's a lot of things to dislike about the game if you really want to. Um, but then like the actual people who hate it, like also just don't fucking understand art like at all so then they're just like well you can't go in the subways this game sucks it's like how about that most of it's ugly man how about that the graphics are pretty but the art's ugly but it's like obviously those people don't fucking know what they're talking about they don't know anything about like art or design or any of that shit so they're not thinking about that PS5.
Back when they were hard to find, my girlfriend got me a PS5 as a fucking Christmas present? Birthday present? I forget which. That was a pretty sweet gift. Except for one dire issue. It has no games. But I enjoyed playing Elden Ring on it. Uh, Elden Ring and like with like stable frame rate and like nice graphics was like very pleasant. I was quite the fan. I haven't really played much on it just because there's nothing on it in a long time. But like occasionally there's stuff. Like I played Callisto Protocol, Dead Space. No Resident Evil 4 yet, but at some point. No Final Fantasy 16 yet, but at some point. Um. Oh, but recently I did play Armored Core on it, and that was awesome. That was like pretty fun. Have fun showering, Mr. Cuppo. Look at that. A Flash animation fan who showers. Now that's a man you gotta give respect to. Punk Ape tip $5. What's good, Dave? Me again. You fuck with Broly? Of course I fuck with Broly. Who doesn't fuck with Broly? Dragon Ball Super is goddamn whatever, but like... The Dragon Ball Super movies, which are written by Toriyama. Ah, oh, beautiful. It's like fucking delicious. A man can't really ask for much more, honestly. So awesome. This game looks cool, but not CS2 cool. That's because nothing is CS2 cool. CS2 is addiction level cool, and nothing's cooler than an addiction. so awesome that I watch the clips from it on the damn Sakukoboru just like every other fucker all the time. Because it owns. Is this dude still walking through Japan? No, he's not. What is this one? <laughs> this fucking thumbnail. This, this video is live. Oh, this dude's just mopedding around just streaming. But it's like daybreak. I don't want daybreak. I want like nighttime. Oh, winter! Oh! Oh! Oh, also, while Wanda's here... Uh... <laughs> sees Dave down at Alley starts R-wording him for fun. Thanks. Wanda's the one who got me hooked on the walking vids. I'd seen some before, and I had fucked with the Rain ASMR and shit before, but... Fucking kudos to Wanda. Literally, this is the chillest shit ever. Ever. Like, what the? Like, just watching these while chilling out on the couch or doing nothing, listening to music, animating with music on and shit. Like, dude. Yeah, 3DS and Japanese ASMR videos hit so good. Yeah, when Wanda was here, we were chilling. We were hitting the damn drinks. We were hitting the damn 3DS MK7 online. We was hitting the snowy Japan. It was fucking awesome. Toonami Aftermath is cool. I kind of wish I fucked with that more. I wonder if not making that a one will help. This might just ruin the speed of everything. I'm wondering if adding one more frame here can make this look less awkward. Actually, actually, 
No, no, I, I know what it is. I don't like the answer, but I know what it is. The answer is... The answer is that I'll have to break this animation apart many frames sooner and have him go up really high to signify that something's about to change. Then he can rush down really fast and it will look totally normal because it, like, it's like the tell that he's going to do something and it'll feel less like fucking ADHD must fucking breakdance immediately. His face looks weird. It's not protruding right in that last frame. Which which last frame? The one on the ground. Yeah, the all the ones on the ground, not to just give myself an excuse, but like these definitely are temporary so I wouldn't I wouldn't sweat them too hard they're more so to just figure I mean this might just not even work this might just totally suck and need to be redone But we're gonna try and make it good so it doesn't need to be redone. That's the goal here. Also, Dragon Ball music is awesome, but we completely need. Uh, I'll have it be a secret. I'll have it just play. Damn it. I'll have it just effing play. What do we got? That's right. If you didn't already expect it. Oh, it's the ambient jungle. If anybody here likes Dragon Ball or really just anime in general and has not seen Super Broly, the film, for some reason, I highly recommend fixing that if you like animation i recommend seeing that movie become a fish fillet. I would really hope that I uh, don't. I think that would suck.
Pikachu is so stretched out here. He almost just pretty much has like normal human anatomy. It looks so wrong seeing it on a still frame, but when it's actually in animation, it will happen so fast you won't even really see it. We can still probably shorten it a little bit. Goes on that 100 push ups, fucking 100 sit ups, and one mile jog a day grind. <laughs> We're going real loose frames, baby. It's fun to draw loose frames, but it's not fun to clean loose frames. Okay, so with this, bro is gone. <laughs> we can stream porn in just a little bit. We just gotta finish this animation. We can stream as much porn as we want.
splash is for? It is a common question, but that's okay. Ah, uh, you know what? <laughs> I'm trying not to. While watching porn while animating. Thanks for the porn you sent, Wanda Boy. It's gonna help me get this animation done. Yup! Hard anime with one hand. God, thank God for hockey's. This is this makes it look like it gets sucked away. This makes it look like it's it's, it's awesome. I I do love this animation. So the one bad thing about a playlist of songs is that they all have different volumes. What I'm realizing is the one problem. So... Yeah, I wanted to make it more like he decides to jump out of his little cyclone and uh, the apescape is fucking awesome. I wanted to make it look like he jumps out of his little cyclone and spins while doing it, but him spinning here, yeah, it looks like he's just being sucked away. It's, it's kind of awesome, but it's, I don't think it really works. I like the cyclone though, we'll, we'll keep that. This is Silver One mentality. background right now. It's Time Station from Ape Escape. This is an awesome song. Okay. 
Let me see. All right, all right, all right, all right. Why is the next song not playing? Oh, the song has like eight hours of dead space after it. Fucking. Thinking, thinking, sorry about that. Just trying to keep him in size with how he is here. I don't want him getting too big, which he just was. He probably still is.
this is challenging. Clover games. Hello, Clover games. Okay, I'll start with this. Let's go put another 50 hours of silence after the video. Much appreciated on his part. A nice breather between songs. Not the effing moron. What the fuck? Alright, that's it. We're getting a damn mix. None of this fucking 50 years of shit between these things. My shirt smells weirdly good. That's nice. It must be a pretty good day for you. Times of need, you go to the most trustworthy, the iconic. Okay, so in this one, I'll have his shirt hang. Okay, so he has his pants on. So then his shirt will be like hanging out over this way. Because his arms kind of make it look like he's not spinning in the other ones. So his shirt will go out there. But then in this one, the shirt will like shoot around where it goes over here. So that way you get like the cloth like spinning around.
That needs an extra frame between it. This does not directly work. This is gonna be a rough ass frame. But you don't need a frame to be pretty to let you know if an animation is gonna work. shirt hanging down like black like right here do the one hand like right here Super well. Whoa, it's also got this fucking thing in it. Get the fuck out of here. Oh, yeah, this is also shorter now. Okay. This is gonna this is gonna be like the wackiest series of frames ever. Cause then he's gonna flip up like horizontally. It's almost like that weird ass my hair academia thing where that guy's like going sideways through the buildings. have his face totally obscured by his hair. There's one ear there. He's like twisting, flipping, 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 and then we'll have him flip in like a totally different axis to where now he's going like from here, like uh, like it becomes more 3D as it goes forward.
see what I'm saying? So he's gonna flip now. Where his feet will come out towards the viewer. Because he's like twisting on the axis. So his feet would get kind of big. He might, let's see, might have some in-betweens on that. So you could get like a frontal view of his feet, almost like we had them earlier. But he's also still going like upwards, so like, his feet would be down, but, oh, it's also goofy. would be out because they're being like dragged in front of them so his hands would be like fucking weirdly huge and dragged like still downwards from the point that they pushed off on yeah this, this is like nonsense there's there's a high chance that this will just look terrible or awesome Normally I'm just playing with symbols. This, this is animation. This is what we're getting into right now. This is what those dudes do on those little pieces of paper all day. We can have his feet start to separate. <laughs> okay. He's getting big, I think that's the issue, is he's getting like astronomically larger. Gotta be careful about that. He's also gonna speak going up. He goes as Oh, he does. He's Fortnite kid with the soda right now. Well, so much for what I said about conserving frames earlier. Bacon, I thought bacon was here now. So now he's bending his knees.
finally coming around to the payoff, gentlemen. You know, we had to shrink him to make sure that he stayed a normal size. He might have gotten too small. on my sleep schedule too much. Omi tipped $5 and said, I just recently saw the FNAF movie. What is your guys' opinion about it? I was talking about it a little bit earlier. I think that, uh... I think... It's charming that... We got this, like... Movie by just uh... That will need a whole bunch of retiming. Um... I think it's charming that like just this mid-40s guy got to make a movie. I think that uh... It's like definitely not like a normally fully crazy overproduced like Hollywood film like it just the FNAF movie like really just kind of feels like this thing made by like a guy but in like the best way possible like it just it feels like I think any maybe this is just like an easy way to excuse it from problems I really feel like anything wrong with it is just the fact that it's not just it's just pen, it's like penned weird it's it's weird writing the same way that the FNAF games are like weird visually in every other way and I think that makes it almost just like good or like really a lot better than people are giving it credit for. And the only like actual genuine criticism of it I've seen that I agree with is that like 
it could have featured like the main animatronics more. Um, and yeah, spoilers for anybody who hasn't seen it, but I'm gonna say a spoiler right now. You know, I think it's weird that he wants to do like a trilogy of like game one, two, and three, but then Springtrap bang in the end of the film, kind of like. Uh, like, would that have just been more time that we would have seen Mike fight, like, the animatronics if, like, if it wasn't him, tr like, you know, if Springtrap didn't need this big introduction and, like, lead up and, like, showdown, would we have gotten more than just him coming up and tasing them and then being done with it, like, because I think the story is cool, I think it's really weird Dream Theory story is just, like, it's very Scott, it's weird, but it's, there's, like, yeah, I think, like, you know, I guess it's weird. I glaze over, like, the positives because they're so blatant. But it's, like, yeah, like, Jim Henson's, like, puppet crew, like, fucking nailed. Fucking nailed the, the, the things. It's, like, they, they literally look, like, amazing. Like, the animatronics look in real life how they do borderline in the game, and that's... Fucking nuts. I think like the overall plot for like the FNAF movie is fucking crazy awesome. I think that um, the puppets, the animatronics look like literally perfect. I think you really won't find anybody who says that they don't. And like, uh... sorry, I think I'm animated. My brain's gone out. I like the really weird way that they did violence in the movie to keep it PG-13. It feels like surreal. It's like the cupcake biting on people should just be flat out funny and not serious at all, yet somehow I'm still able to take the movie seriously, even while there's like a big cupcake like lunging at people and like biting them. I thought that was impressive, that that didn't just immediately break the whole thing. There's just like a weird feeling to the movie to where somehow that's like acceptable and feels scary and good it's like the movie's not scary like it follows or anything crazy but like the movie feels like unsettling and you understand violence as violence it doesn't just understand like a uh, cartoon Seeing discussions in the chat that I'm totally just not keeping up with. <laughs> Forgive me.
Getting this all actually in frame where you can see what's happening is going to be quite the challenge. We're back, baby. We are so back. Now we just gotta have like the overshoot where he like slams on the ground and the slow raise back into it. But like, I would say overall that actually, I'm, I'm a fan. Miha, Miha is here. I remember Miha. I remember that Miha is crazy. I think I talked to them in like a Twitter space, like fucking forever ago. That one frame of Foxy as the kid is genuinely scary. Is this the one where the kid goes into the shadows and comes out as Foxy? I think the story of them trying to get to Abby is scary. Like Golden Freddy showing up in her house and like wanting to just like basically like kidnap her and her like finding her aunt like dead? But like she's not even able to like understand or like see her aunt like dead. It's like just very weird. But it's fine.
this is hard. This is hard to animate. more tutorial streams that'd be pretty good I really want to do that I was gonna try and like smush this into like a more like a more like a delayed animation thing but like you know what that's probably for as complex as this animation is it can probably live without that sucking himself off. like a really crazy nene where he sucks himself off. Just kidding. You dumbass. right there reminds me that I haven't saved in forever, but now I have. Okay, we are going to see in a minute if this kinda is like total dog shit or if it works. I'm not gonna lie. If it ends up being complete dog spit, I just might jump off a bridge. This mother loving dog spit ends up being total garbage. I just might fucking freak.
Dave is BF confirmed. Yep, it's real. <laughs> the real dream theory. <laughs> the wet dream theory. The boyfriend's just like <laughs> deeply alone. Just imagining that he has his hot girlfriend that he wants to fuck real bad and has to fight a billion fucking people. Yeah, our new modding stuff we have to offer is like really good. Well, I mean, it's like... But better said is the tools we have are like good. Like, around like a year ago from right now, I got like really kind of just pissed off at how fucking hard it was to do anything and made the call to have people that man one guy in the background looks like fucking Miyazaki Hidetaka Miyazaki that guy makes Elden Ring anyway I made the call that we needed better tools I mean we've been working on improving the tools but they've gotten even better I would say A U E Z. comments. Bro, I did not get a notification for this. Let's go, this looks great. Oh boy. I accidentally just cut my thumb. Okay. Has the community done something that you guys already plan to do in the game? You know what? I've said before that never, not even once ever at all, but just recently I saw one thing. I saw one thing that honestly wasn't even a plan for the game, but it was an idea that I had. And truth be told, it's really not the same, but like, it's the first time I've ever seen like enough overlap to say like, that's kind of similar. But I won't say what it is, cause I'm still gonna do what I wanted to do, but just, I mean, like I mentioned, it's different. It's like honestly barely similar, but it's similar enough to where I feel like I could even see people drawing comparisons later, but. That's all right. The, the thing that modders have done that I've been planning to do for the past two years that they totally got before me was add new levels. I had been planning on it. I had been damn considering it. It's been, it's crossed my mind. Uh, but the modders, they did it. They just made new content. I know it's a bold idea. It was on my plate, I was you're gonna do it eventually. Uh, but yeah, they, they had the bold kind of foresight to draw new art and make new weeks. I just said, I don't know. I was thinking about it. Bleh. But I guess I'll still do it anyway. <laughs> I guess, you know, they beat me to it. I guess I'll just steal that idea and make new levels anyway. I'm just kidding, I never thought of that. I wasn't gonna do that. I'm pretty much just stealing the idea from the modders to just make new stuff. Yeah, and, and I'm stealing the idea to put the two-headed boyfriend thing is that nuzzle and love each other take turns sucking their one cock together <laughs> I 
I'm proud of this. This this does look kind of crazy. Here too, says Happy Grunt. Hi. Listen, the plan is to make FNF making it take forever, so that way all the people who were seven years old and liked it when it originally came out will be old enough for all of the quite like that. You know, I'm realizing tonight that when hands move really fast, it's kind of fun to draw them just like Panty and stocking styles, just like the squares. Kind of makes them like easier to draw, and I feel like I don't even really notice. It's almost like Udipon cubes, where it's like because it's moving so fast, like the direct shape doesn't really matter that much. Did I already have an ear on that? I did. My ear on that sucked. 
This song is also awesome. This is from a game called Z Psy. Or in America, it's called Devil Dice. I remember listening to this at the airport when I was. I won't lie, I had worked on FNF a lot leading up to the Kickstarter to the point to where I was a little bit of a shut in. I felt kind of anxious about flying at the time. So when I was feeling nervous about all that, I remember listening to SMT4 music a lot and z -Sai, or Devil Dice music at the airport, like a bunch. So I, listened, I remember listening to this song when taking off on the airplane and walking around the big airport. Which normally I don't really care about going anywhere or doing anything. I just kind of feel like just whatever, it's just chill. But back then, tensions were high from working a lot, so the song made it pleasant. the billion of Darnell fan songs we gave fan stuff that is unfortunate uh but yeah that guy posted chud that shit's funny there's literally uh near the Newgrounds office there's like some like plumbing there's like some business down from like a restaurant we go to eat at pretty often called chud like literally just a fucking building I think it's like a plumbing thing or something just called chud and so I literally drive by like in this long ass hiatus that we've had making this and seeing all the, occasionally checking VG or seeing Chud or some all sorts of places. And then there's a building near me called Chud. Sometimes I do wonder if like there is some kind of like God or something watching over me that's like playing jokes on me or something. It feels just too weird. FNF like lives just all around me every day. There's no avoiding it, not even when I'm fucking just out and about. Chud is there and waiting. Yeah, I don't like stuff leaking. I hate it. I fucking despise it. But... Man, it's weird. I've seen people comment, like, on uh, stuff like, How could you have misjudged when the update was gonna come out, like, this badly? Uh... And I think, like, we were just... I think I mentioned this before. We were just planning, like, a lot less of the time. Uh... And I guess, like, you know... Like I mentioned, we're not releasing everything, so kind of like a lot of um, what we're planning, uh, you know, sometimes we're just spending time working on stuff that's... Well, I mean, for example, like the tools, right? It's like, we, I was trying to just make do with the tools we had originally, and we're having like a lot of problems, um, and... So even though I knew it would add a ton of time, I was like, fuck it. It's like, it's already late, uh, by a few months, it was already just a pain in the ass. Let's, let's start working on these things, these things, and these things, and new tools. And it's like, yeah, that's going to make this take even longer, but it's like, it was either like, keep working shittily to get like one thing done or put that one thing on the back burner slightly to work on other things to make making everything easier and that's an example of like the fact that it is a full game kind of making this one update take longer yeah longer more chud time so like the amount of chud hours and now chud years that have been spent hopefully we're not in vain I'm kind of hoping that Darnell, hopefully, maybe he's worn out for the community a bit, but I'm hoping that when he comes out for just like 
everybody there's still like a lot of fun and I think that people will be blown away by what we have to offer for that but at the same time I mean the game's a lot larger than just Darnell level so in my mind too it's like well even if everyone's already like okay seen it which I really don't think that'll be the reception but then it's like okay well there's other shit so it doesn't matter that much Oh my goodness, it's 6.02 in the morning. We've been streaming for four and a half hours. Is Pico acoustic? Yes. I guess that's up to Tom to decide, really. I mean, Tom once told us at the office there was a time that people were fighting about autism on the site, and uh, Tom it's so funny because Tom can be really edgy, but like, I think Tom really doesn't like people being made fun of, and he just kind of mentioned that, uh. But he doesn't just say, like, oh, don't make fun of people. You know, Tom will. Because Tom doesn't really like. Really like also telling people, like, what to do. So. I just remember he, like, talked to all of us. He was like, yeah, he's like, you know, he's like, I think everybody has, like, a little bit of autism inside of them. He's like, I think, you know. It's good to recognize that. Uh, and he kind of shared this story about being in school and he remembered for a while he felt like some social like, anxiety around people and not knowing what to do when you pass somebody and like make eye contact or that felt awkward but then he, he said that 
when uh, he passed people in the hallway, he eventually learned to like not, you know, you do that thing where you just like nod at somebody when you walk by. And he said that like, you know, that was a social interaction that he had to learn, so he wonders if that's, if that's one of the small ways that he was autistic, that that didn't come naturally, and he had to learn that. And, uh, that's an interesting one. I guess I think about that a lot. I guess how you know when somebody's smart, right? When they share stories that just stay on your mind. That resonate with you. So in Tom's Infinite Wisdom, that's one of the stories that's on my mind. So, so that's a long way of saying maybe. Because if Tom considers himself, I don't know, 10% autistic, which who's to say he really is, right? Like, I don't even know if self-diagnosing is the, the best thing, but maybe even less about anybody being autistic, but like resonating with that you can find those tendencies in yourself. Or maybe he's right, maybe everyone in the world, or at least, I think he meant artists. I think like all artists are at least like whatever percentage autistic or creative people in general. So, yeah, I guess if we consider Pico a uh, creative person, <laughs> yeah, I guess he's partially autistic. What percentage of BF is autistic? A dangerous amount. Dangerous 50% autistic. No one had a bad trip. It was all very good. No one had a bad trip. 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 So people have asked before if there will be an art book. That's something I would definitely like to work on soon. It'll have to wait, of course, a while longer, but like... There is... Man, there is like a lot from just everything that's been done in like the past fucking... Two years.
BF shirt merch looks dope. When you say that, are you talking about like the regular shirt? Weird is week eight, it's in Toys R Us. I don't know what that means, but I like it. The black on the shark robot page. I can't wait till people finally see the ones that Pea Kettles did for the Kickstarter. I don't know if people have seen those yet. I let mostly Cam and Shinky handle all that.
Okay. Let's give this a watch for morale. That might just be it. That might be it. I could go for a cute little Japanese black coffee from Coca-Cola machine outside. Now I'm back to not liking this loop. I think I don't like this one frame being on a one, which is gonna mess with the timing of a lot of shit. So let's, let's try that. Nope, everything looks good. Oh. Dopamine time, dopamine time from watching it over and over. He still needs to go like up and like into that roll. Thank you for everybody who has stayed up with me for this ridiculously long amount of time. I keep seeing if he's about to do the fucking Gangnam Style thing. He's about to do the one where you have the one hand down by your dick and the other hand up like by your head doing like the lasso part. Is what I feel like he's always about to go into every time I see those frames pop up. Like you're whipping like the one hand down by like your dick and the other hand is going in a circle up by your head. Kind of like I feel disappointed every time I see that start and then it doesn't do it. been here since like when I started like two minutes in Babe, shouldn't you fucking sleep? It's like 5 a.m. in the USA. Actually, it's 6 a.m. where I'm at. Hmm. <laughs> Miha wrote homo and then wrote a bunch of Japanese next to it. What's wrong with you? <laughs> it keeps, I keep seeing it. Uh, it's a go sleep homo. An accurate message, if I do say so myself. One that speaks to my heart. Well, I would like the gas station. Yeah, I know. It's got a bunch of good shit in it. Monster is more than legal. Absolutely more than legal. I can't believe that that's the question after all these hours. I'm dead, yeah, I'm fucking dead. Samad Bays. This 
don't know, gay, no. he goes back into the hand roll is awesome. I'm quite a fan. <laughs> you don't even really notice how ridiculous him like flipping up is. It kind of just looks like normal. Even though it is definitely not. There is a lot of goofy ass frames in there. Alright, let me see this again. I'm gonna watch this like a billion times right now. I really like these ones where he goes like stiff. I know I made it, but I made it in such a rushed delirious state that there's something about seeing it with a slightly more coherent mind afterwards. And I'm just happy with it. It's like really weird. But it's perfect. It's like at the right amount of weird. I feel like if I had tried to animate this how I think that this looks, it would have come out all wrong. But animating this purely how I feel like it looks and going even a little bit beyond that I feel like that made it good Todd the oh my god we worked our way through the whole playlist and I see the sun coming up outside man see everything leads to the stream should stop I need to piss real bad sun's coming up gigantic playlist just ended snowy videos only got like 15 minutes left but I really just want to get down, um, not that, that's perfect, uh, no, wait, oh, yeah, I want to get, um, the animation for him going into this, because that's, I mean, that's charming, I like that, uh, but, like, he needs to, like, he needs to go down from his normal hand roll, but then the frames need to get custom after that. Because then it needs to customize where he comes up and, like, goes way up higher than he normally does. And then, like, goes slow for a minute. So it's like, oh, he's slowing down. What's he doing? And then he's like, zoop. Then he, like, goes a little bit faster and faster and faster. Then, vroom, goes right into the spin. Right. The, the, the artist term would be anticipation. The video game term would be tell. It's the little tell in the boss fight to know when he's going to do his special move. And guess what, god damn it. I think I'm going to do it. I think I'm going to do it. I think I'm going to do it right now. We're going to put on this. And this. And then we're going to watch... Did we already... We didn't watch the Snowy Village Walk. Well, actually... We need, we need snowy Japan during... We need snowy Japan. Why does Pico weigh so small? Because he's slim. He's a slim boy. He doesn't have a lot of money. That's why he kills people for money. I'm going to go to the restroom and I'll be right back. But the stream's not going to go on that much longer. We're going to get that one done and then done. We're not going to clean this up tonight. It's just going to be done. I'd say that for everybody who needs to get a good night's sleep, you should hop out of here. You should. I'm going to go piss, and then I'm going to work on this more. For everybody who is, their sleep schedule is broken, or they just don't give a fuck about themselves, or just really want to see animation, there will be more, and give me like three minutes. I'll be right back.
I'm back, and what? It's like, what the? Why did nobody leave? Why is nobody being kind to themselves and going to sleep? I did wash my hands. I wash my hands too much, man. My hands are dry as shit. Also, hold up. It's fucking cold, man. I want to turn the heat on. Slave to the grind. I was frying chicken in there. Oof, I came back to it like one of my favorite songs. I love this song. This one really just makes me feel like I'm damn lost in the ether. What game is this for? Whiteout. Can you believe it? Game as stupid as that. Has a soundtrack that goes this effing hard. Bassett released a new album last night. Nice. Meet man, everybody at the office, all of us, just yesterday, me, Ivan, Tom, we were all just wondering what he was up to. Cause even though I talked to him, he, he's a mystery man. Oh, we got Saruki in here. Hello Saruki. Cirque's one of the people who was telling me to stream, so I did it. I followed their orders. Cirque, check this shit out. Brianorg16 said, I'm fan? Oh, Cirque, you got a fan. In the chat. Thank you, Suruki. That's fun to watch. June 7, you were late this time. Sorry, bro. I feel like he's gonna do it. Like he's gonna start hopping around and do it. Man, it's just in my brain. It's all the Fortnite, man. It's fucking burned into me now. an easter egg that he starts doing just that one particular part of Gangnam Style. So Kaida said, Dave, did you know that I'm about to blow? Yeah, what, your dad? You fucking loser. Let's read a better comment. Pico get gritty. That's a pretty good comment. <laughs> That's also a good comment. Friday Night Funkin'.
<laughs> I'm about to blow, not my fucking dad! That's good. Dad would get in a lot of trouble if that happened. I just remembered a story <laughs> about this thing that Tom talked about. Tom, Tom told the story. I should laugh. It's not really that funny. I just, it's, I don't know. It. Tom told this story. This is so fucking long ago. We were all out to lunch, and we were coming back, and Tom's mind just like wanders like dark shit sometimes. He told this story about. I forget. Someone just made a joke. Uh, like I told that person that they're gonna blow their dad. I think I was saying something like that to Corey, and then Tom was like, wow, you know, he's like, that makes me think of this story where he's like, there's this boy who, yeah, lives with his dad, and he would just beat his dad up and fuck him, and I'm like, it's not funny, it's really not funny, but it's like, it's it's so out of left field that it, like, I was like, what? <laughs> like, what are you saying? And he's like, they're telling us, like, all the details of the story, and we finally get uh, back to the office, and we're walking up, and he's... He, he just got done describing the whole thing, and he stops, and he's like, and when I hear that story, he, he like, stopped on the stairs, we walk up to the office, he turned around and looked at us, he's like, and I just think that that's, that's so mean. Why would you do that to your own dad? And that literally, he wasn't trying to be funny, but it made me and Corey laugh so hard. He said, you yeah, know shit, that's a fucking mean thing to do to your dad with to beat him up and fuck him? What are you talking about? We just ate lunch. We go on about the dude fucking his dad. I don't want to hear that. Jesus, I'll never forget that. That was fucking weird. That shit made me laugh though. This Tom's delivery of it was so strange. Oh man, this shit made me, it hurts my sides fucking thinking about that. I like cried laughing that day he said that. And yeah, that is fucking evil. That, like, make no mistake, that is fucking horrible. But it's like Tom saying, like, I think that's so mean. Yeah, like I didn't, like I couldn't fucking guess. Yeah, it's fucking mean. It's more than fucking mean. What are you talking about mean? And mean is you begin to describe. What are you talking about? Okay. Enough of that shit. <laughs> we gotta get the Japan Snow Walk night. <laughs> Tom was like, why would he do that? That was like his earnest reaction. It's like, because he's fucking a piece of shit. He used to be like fucking killed or put in jail or something. Who knows why he'd fuck me? He's like mental. Okay, I'm trying to find a new Japan walk video. Oh, this one. Oh, this one's so good. This one's crazy. Oh, fuck. Okay. Saruki, if you have any of that music, you can send it to me. I won't lie though, I'm kind of tired and this is kind of my playlist jam that I use to keep myself going. I know I said a while ago I'd play your music on stream. Or not your, like, you know, just whatever music you recommend so I could open myself up to some new genres, but I'm kind of, I'm kind of sleepy. But if you send a song or two, I'll check it out. But it's the the jungle keeps me going, sir. You gotta understand. Can you politely ask them to restock the new guys logo pins and shark robot? Uh, yes, I can do that. In fact, I'm gonna screen cap your comment so I remember that, and I just did.
jungle is sick. It really is. Why is the viewer stuck on 82? I think says like 127. Not that it matters either way, really. Let's see. Let's see on my phone if I check it. What's the non-CIA government controlled number of Phantom Arcade Watchers? Yeah, phone says 124, which is also accurate with like the streamer right now. More of you guys need to go to fucking bed. It's like not early anywhere. This is like the latest, most worst hour for all across the whole planet. Also, I asked somebody earlier what their animation project was. Somebody hound, hound something. Hound, what were you working on right now while you're watching? Also, Cirky, what do you have done? Also, hello, 8-Stitch. Oh, 8-Stitch is saying, why am I up so late? You know I'm up so late, I'm here fucking doing this. Hound is here, Pico shit, what do you mean Pico shit?
I wish it snowed at all where I lived. Yeah, wouldn't that be nice? It hasn't really snowed a lot in PA in the last few years, but it's been like weirdly cold this year, so I'm tempted. Or, well, I mean, I'm tempted. I'm sorry, I looked at that guy saying Pico doing the gritty comment and just said that out loud. Because I am tempted to do Pico doing the gritty. That'd be so awesome. Ever since I got that for Piccolo in Fortnite, it's just so good. But it's too meme-ish. But that's why it's tempting, because I'm not going to do it, but I want to. But, snow in PA. It doesn't snow here that often. The fall is, like, beautiful. It's, like, gorgeous. But it doesn't change the fact it doesn't fucking snow here. That sucks. I actually used to be... I don't know how to describe this. I used to be kind of, like too cool for the seasons um, or like for like holidays and shit I feel like around the time I came in the Newgrounds office I was like huh, fourth of, oh, fireworks 4th of July oh what Halloween yeah whatever uh, but now now that's definitely not it now like very much so, like, I kind of live for, like, the holidays and, like, seasonal stuff. Uh, makes life feel special and nice. to really go out and like look at like the fall uh, like trees and shit see the colors change that's something I think that like that's like some old people shit but it's some old people shit that I'm chill with because it is it is just damn pleasant I did dress up for Halloween. I told a story earlier, but uh, my brother was trick or treating this year, and I had like. Well, you know, it's funny. I skipped Halloween a lot of years because I was busy, but I'm trying to like, even though I am busy, maybe the most busy I've ever been, trying to make time for things. So I made sure to visit him this year for Halloween, and uh, I got like just some corny ass Spirit Halloween, like Stick Man, Glow in the Dark Stick Man costume, which is pretty dope. This song is super, super awesome. I, I adore this song. Especially once like it really gets into it. Like this song is like really just like drops in a second where like the beat starts really rolling. I feel like I can picture like Metal Gear Solid 3 like snake inside the jungle or some shit.
Oh, wait, I gotta scroll up. People are fucking damn talking their gab off at 7 in the morning. You're about to leave California and go Midwest. You're hoping for snow. I hope you get it. Want to build a snowman? Hope you do. I want to digest snow. Well, you can. You kind of do every day. You've got melted snow in your fridge that you drink. I wish snow was edible. It is. It's awesome. Effing up with my gateway into doing art and animation. I've been the reason I actually improved. But I feel Cape Clint syndrome a lot. Oscar syndrome. You know, people said my first cartoon ever, or like first decent one, Brad and Dan. I remember getting my very first ever Ego Raptor style on that video. Uh, so try not to feel too bad about that stuff. Oh, I've been learning how to cook, Surky says. Oh, I will try to cook it like your chicken recipe. That sounds awesome. I need to learn, like, learn how to cook better. I eat out, like, a lot. I'm lucky that I'm not 600 pounds. I guess I mostly just eat out, like, salads and, like, chicken and stuff. But I still feel like even chicken and salad made at restaurants is, like, nastier and greasier than, like, chicken and salad you can make at home. The Scott Pilgrim anime will be sick. Sorry, I'm, like, lightning rounding these comments. That's enough of them, I guess. Is that how do you cosplay Henry Stickman? Do you got naked? No. T John Twitch, wait, PA streaming. What's up, dude? Yeah, the the fucking GTA 6 rumors are nuts. You know, I actually really like this drawing, like, the way he's, like, looking over his arm, he looks so smug and smiley and, like, happy in, like, a way that's, like, fun.
Rufido like doesn't go up high enough. It almost like doesn't even. You can definitely tell that it's like. Ugh. Do I collect Pokemon cards? No. I got some at McDonald's with Cam when I got a Happy Meal, though. Which ones did I get from McDonald's? I forget. Got them up on my shelf. But I don't feel like grabbing them. I'm obsessed with collecting games more than cards. But even then, I'm not trying to really have like every game or anything. I just like grabbing games that are cool games that I like. I feel like this actually would be better if it was like up way higher. Guys, you hear him, you hear what the rock says. You damn roll.
There we go, there we go. Kind of. Okay, let's check that. That might that might be it. That might do it. Hmm. Yeah, it's almost gonna be a little too much lead in where I feel like it's almost like too pristine. Let's see that. Hmm. What is it about this that's off to me? I wonder if this just leads in almost like too well. Almost like it needs some distance to just be a little bit like crazy. If he makes it like a lead in too smooth, it can lose like a bit of its like sporadic nature sometimes. Leading into twos, do these all need to be ones? Yeah, does that look better? It's like all ones. It's 7 a.m. Oh, yeah, it is. Look at that. I've come to that was smooth as fuck. What are you talking about? update isn't able to come out this year like you had hoped do you think we will get anything like a new teaser to satisfy our thirst uh let's get a simpsons <laughs> oh also what is this Bubble, Bubble watching stream it says good evening mr phantom hello bob It has almost been six hours, hasn't it? Uh, 
Uh, I'm gonna try another thing. Oops, not that. better in general. What the fuck? Sometimes I just tilt something and it looks like totally better. I mean, that doesn't fix the whole animation. I think the posing needs to change. Um, but like... You know what? It's um, that's the body should lead. I have the arms leading. That's the problem. It's the arms should be dragged down. But right now I have like the arms leading the animation, and that looks bad uh, to me. It'd also help if he could go in like more of an arc. Like he's really throwing himself into it. I like that better. Still really leads with the arms though. You know what this should be? This should be that frame. Cause that looks fucking crazy. This would probably be that too. Mm. 
Yeah, look at that. That exaggerates it even further. Since the shoulder's lower, it helps, like, it be the body leading over the arms. Look, it's now he's throwing his damn hips into it. Get it, Pico. Damn, get it. I think I might just have too many frames. I might just need some gone. That animation is just too stiff, man. That's that's the, one of the main problems.
many Pico hit the gritty. Well, I'm probably never gonna do it. Crunk with me, sweetie. A win is week eight video. Or a you guys are never getting this game thread going on while just like before the update comes out would be pretty tasty. sleep but this is an animation that I've been thinking about doing for a long time and uh, uh, that's like kind of seamless I'm, I'm pretty happy with that Yeah, Pika's a good dancer. Can a normal good dancer do this? Didn't fucking think so. Come back when you can do this shit. We gotta find the fucking thing, man. We gotta find the... I didn't base this off of this at all, but this just reminds me of um, an animation. So let me do this. Ugh. 
Cougar Bro probably uses this. These are my hero. No, these are my hero name. Okay. Actually, I don't know how I'm gonna find this. Wait, yes, yes I do. I do know I'm gonna find it, actually. So I look at these shots pretty often, and if I can find one shot that's by the animator, then I can find the other shots that are by the animator. So it's one of the movies I know has like this one prominent animator on it. beautiful shit in it. Same with the movies. The movies especially just kind of have some crazy shit in it. Maybe finding this will be a bit harder than I thought. Any of these have spoilers for my hero fans? They have tags for the movies, but not for the first movie. I was seeing some psycho cuts from this film, which I'm also not exactly sure. There's this cut that's from the first movie, and I'm hoping isn't removed. This! This isn't even the full scene. Oh my goodness. It's like ridiculous. There's a scene where they start running next to each other and it's so insane. They they have this crazy like brothers for life like dual jog together that's so awesome. Yo! <laughs> what the? Yo! The fucking, the, like the dual jog, it's so awesome. Yeah, Nakamura is awesome. Okay, so now what was the scene? They have so many good ones, honestly. It's like, the scene I'm looking for isn't even the scene I like most out of their stuff. If it's even by them, it's... I don't even watch that much My Hero. It's the flame dude. And he spins around like a disc. But then when he, he starts to stop spinning, and when he slows the spin down, he's like molten hot. And like, he... He like stiffened his body to like spin in this weird way. Man, this animator's just done everything. This shot's awesome. I referenced this shot for some FNF animation that you guys will see in the future. Yeah, the way that like they stand with the clothes blowing. I used this exact shot to do that. Man, this guy's awesome. What the fuck? This is a Kugaburu. This is where people just collect awesome animations. This is Dragon Ball? This is Dragon Ball. Oh, nice. This is the cooler movie. This is movie five. Piccolo with the stretchy arms.
That's a good cut. It's probably also movie five. Yeah. I will never tilt me canvas lol. Why would they hit a child like that? That wind up on that punch was ridiculous. Yo, what? That's crazy. Wow, I never realized how beautiful this cut was. I've seen this movie a lot. They were on G Gundam. Yo, what a cut. Wow. They use them for the end boss. It's pretty sick. I wish you could search these things by characters. So if I could search the character I was thinking of, then I could definitely find it. I see they did stuff for Mob Psycho. I still need to finish that. I read all of it back when it was coming out from one, but I never finished watching it. Oh, they did an Ava cut? What Ava cut they do? Oh, the dual launch with Asuka and Shinji. See, this site's just fun to browse. No, it's not Todoroki. It's Todoroki's father. The mean flame guy. Wow, I did the whole sequence. Oh no, it's three guys. Yeah, this shit is beautiful. If there's One Piece stuff on here, yeah, this site has anything that's beautiful. I think that this site even has like Puss in Boots stuff. Like this site collects, or maybe it is just Japanese stuff, but this site, if it's Japanese and it's animated, if it's like a beautiful animated cut, they get it. Also, anybody hasn't seen Evangelion, fucking watch it. Watch it subbed. Thank you. He's the scene where Spike's fighting fucking... What is his name? This isn't Vincent in this film, is it? On the train. This is where the dude punches Spike out the fucking window. And puts a gun up to his chest and blows his fucking heart out. I wonder if he animated that part. Seems like it's everything leading up to that. This is aw- Look at- This is beautiful! What the- The angles they do in this movie is crazy because to have to draw characters from these like low angles is not easy. It's like very hard. So the fact that they were, oh man, good boy Spike saving the pretty girl. Yet at the beginning of the film, he's totally willing to let the old lady die. <laughs> Ooh, bad day for that guy. This movie is so sick, man. I remember there was, I've read some reviews for this back in like, that were from 2001 or whatever when this came out. And some reviewers in America were just like, I don't get why it's set as a sci-fi. It could just be set in modern day. And it's like, wow. You are such a cock slobbering loser. You shouldn't have even fucking watched it if you're going to be that stupid. Oh, was this it? Did they animate the heart scene? It's stupid that somebody would think that this shouldn't be a sci-fi thing. The whole point is that even in the future with sci-fi, it's like times don't really change. Plus, like, Bebop's based on, like, jazz, so of course it would feel, like, contemporary. It's like a sci-fi thing that isn't, like, high gloss. To say that it shouldn't be set in the future is, like, totally dumb and misses, like, so much of the point. Plus, it's okay to have, like, a fancy backdrop. That window smashing scene's beautiful. Also, the way he draws, like, the glass 
it's like so simple but there's so much detail based on like what's highlighted and what's grayed out the three tone shading you have one color two color three color let's watch them smash them through the window again that's some good shit this site's also got frame by frame buttons because of course it does that fucking drag on the arm and then the camera panning around all crazy. The camera shake's good. The camera shake is ridiculous. Okay, so look. He goes to pull Spike. He's already dragging him, so his arm's behind him. Then he hunches down, pulls his shoulder forward, but Spike is heavy. It's dragging his hand behind him. But then he yanks. He fucking yanks as hard as he can. We see Spike in frame, poor boy. And then uh, we get the camera's already shaking. Bam, Spike is out of frame. He threw him so fucking hard. The camera has to pan over to catch up. But the, it's like he's shaking the whole train. So the camera pans over. Then it just goes too far forward. Goes down. Oh, it's just... And of course, every painstaking piece of glass and pain is just floating there in space. It's fucking beautiful. Oh, well, I wasn't able to find the scene I wanted, but that one's pretty good. I wish I could have seen him getting his heart blown out, though. Oh, this is just before the fight starts. This is when the other train comes passing and he has to get in. Alley you. With sound effects, it this has to be some of the most like riveting and like enticing stuff. Yo, and that animator did episode one of Bebop. Look at this. This is the fight where he like kicks the table up to like hit the dude. <laughs> That's so awesome. It's like the sound effects enhance this so much, but it's like the impact is all still there, like without it. it is this show good no it's not good is an understatement this show is fucking amazing oh we get like the fucking wife or the mistress or whatever with the shaky first person view of her holding the gun and they're still just beating each other's fucking asses over there that's awesome man that's just creative, it's fun, it's got impact, it's got personality. It doesn't get much better than that, honestly. But modern day is giving it a try. What I've seen from that Jujutsu Kaisen stuff is crazy. And Gear 5, like I was asking about One Piece. There's totally One Piece on here. Now that the guy who did Super Broly is directing One Piece... Fucking One Piece shots end up on here like every day. One of the greatest animation directors of all time is leading what was once the worst animated show ever. And he's turning it into a fucking masterpiece. Let's find the Wayland Gear 5 shots, shall we? It's this. Dear old Waylon Zhang up here. Look at Luffy's gear five and he notices he's about to be blown to effing smithereens. A oh, hound was here is heading out. All right, catch you Mr. Hound. Good luck with your project. This is deeply the most unhinged animation ever, and Waylon is a master. Like, Mr. Zhang is definitely one of the greats of our times. I especially like these little stars that shoot out. Well, everything about like the inverse gravity and like rubber world stuff, like, like so what? Like this is just insanity. So Luffy, he shoots his hands back, and he can turn things to rubber now. So 
he grabs the ground and he turns it to rubber so like almost like it's a plastic mat it, it like caves in and it has like an oomph like a shock wave through it because now it's di it's bending because the ground is rubber so now but luffy's still pulling himself against it but he's not letting he's like a god he's not letting himself be pulled against it it's like as he's slowly being pulled towards it He's, like, moonwalking to, like, charge up, like, fucking gravity. So, like, each step, he's, like, stepping and, like, pounding his feet on, like, thin air to, like, charge himself up. And then, when he finally lets himself go, he, like, fucking... Oh, look at that. He turns into a light bulb for a second. Yeah, he blows up into a light bulb and gets yanked down so hard, his mouth right here stays in place. And, yeah, so... He, like, splats against himself, so now he's part of him is flat in the air. Uh, but he's still being pulled down, so his mouth is right there. He's being yanked away from his mouth. Now we see his full body start to fly. We see his feet there. And now his mouth is catching up. The camera's panning down. Yeah, he's, like, kicking and waving his feet while he's being, like, dragged down. His, like, body parts, like, can't keep up with him. The camera's panning in 3D. So though now the camera went from a side view to panning under him. And now he's just becoming like pieces. He's he's losing it. He's fucking losing it, man. And now we see him smack into the ground like fucking flat Play-Doh and bounce back up so hard that he pulls the ground up. And now he's pulled up like a fucking concrete big ass wall. It's like fucking huge fire blast coming towards him gets stuck in the wall now because it's stuck in the rubber wall it's like ridiculous and the ca the camera is going ape shit i don't even know how to describe it it's like he made the camera and the fire blast in here like really chunky so the camera's panning around in the weirdest way i've ever seen it's like freaking the fuck out as it should for a fireball of that magnitude and yeah, the camera's going apeshit as Luffy's using every ounce of fucking cartoon strength he has to hold it. He's losing his pieces still. He goes fucking huge muscle for a moment and screams because it's so fucking hard. But he's able to hold the wall up. Now the wall finally bounces back. And this guy notices he's fucked up and the thing shoots out. And it's got these beautiful Kingdom Hearts ass like little stars of like multi rainbow colors around it. After a ton of fog and like shit dissipates from it and the wall warps all fucking around like crazy because it's rubber. It's just like, how, I just, it's like ridiculous. It's like one of the greatest things I've ever seen. This came out when I was in Canada. I remember just sitting on the couch and like literally just watching the scene over and over. The sound effects are goofy as fuck too, and they match perfectly. Like a Japanese guy had to come up with sounds to this. And people were dogging on it because it's like ridiculous. You almost don't even think it's like real. It's like so bizarre. Let's see, is this even it? This is like the start of it. Do they have a part two? No, they don't. What the heck? The transformation. What the heck? They gotta have this shit somewhere, dog. This shit's sound effects are too funny. They didn't really take this down from everywhere, did they? Get back to work. We gotta fucking watch Luffy fight this guy. Oh, this is what I want. We just gotta hear this shit with sound effects, because this shit's ridiculous. person cut it apart into a million fucking things, you asshole. 
You suck. I hate you. This sucks. Is this getting like copyright claimed a bunch or something? This is ass. Okay, one random ass Crunchyroll page has it. What is happening, man? Yeah, they literally put the fucking Mr. Krabs fucking walking thing in there. It's like ridiculous. Yeah, it is almost 8 a.m. It's crazy. Okay. That shit's awesome. Oh, wait. There we go. Okay, so... We didn't find the thing that the whatever references. Uh... But... Stream end here, we'll turn the snow back on for final review. Okay. You're back from bath and dinner. Daph Lose, who said I'm still animating. No, I'm done, I'm done. I was doing some, I was just looking at shots of shit online. We're gonna watch, we're gonna watch tonight's efforts. Six and a half hours of animating, and what do we get? We got this. I'm pretty happy with that. It's economical, it's got frame by frame, it's kind of like a mix of like everything. It's like a mix of practical and then like a mix of like, uh, not practical. I like this part. This part's fun because he comes down and the hands are up and out. And then, uh. What the fuck? Oh, it's hitting the question mark. Yeah, when he. So then his hands are down like this. Like he's like raising his hands like he's about to be shot by the cops while he's sucking his own dick. Uh. And it's like they drag. So it's like his head is. Right here, his head is like above his hands. But then he hits the ground, his knees fold, and he's on his feet. And his hands are lighter than his head. So his head instantly smushes down into his crotch. But his light ass hands, which are like limp little noodles, like hang into the sky. And then as his head starts to go up, like rubbing against his sack, his hands get immediately flung down, like forward. And then his head is like way up while his hands finally, they flick. Because... His hand, his arms are down, but his palms are still up and his fingers are still up. So then, once his shoulders get dragged up along with his head, which is moving ahead of the hands, the fingers flip down, and then they snap up because now he's back in control and he's ready to fucking dance some more. So that's definitely my favorite part. I do also like, um, don't end, damn it, keep playing. Uh. Yeah, I like this spinning around and slowly coming back up. The really ridiculous frames in this 
these three. These three are just so goofy. These tiny couple frames make me feel like I'm a little baby Waylon Zhang animating my goofy little Gear 5. Being ridiculous with animation is fun. I also feel bad because I feel like there's this weird trend going on where like Pico almost by nature of coming second in FNF like Pico's behind boyfriend and girlfriend the emphasis isn't on him he's not as important as boyfriend and girlfriend but so I do everything for boyfriend and girlfriend first and then when I do it for Pico I'm doing it having like tried something so then Pico ends up getting like more advanced stuff so like boyfriend got all of his shit where like he like fucking tosses girlfriend up and catches her and tosses her into bed and all that shit but now like for as beautiful as that is now pico really like he, he gets like the crazy ass dance and like the insane like flipping into the air it's kind of like less meaningful than like boyfriend and girlfriend being together this is just the bachelor life i suppose already watched this one, right? We watched this snowy video. Thank you, Suriki. Well, it's fucking... Yeah, it's just about to be 8 a.m., so fuck my life. snow is good snowy videos especially watching them in the winter feels awesome because even though i don't have snow at least yet hopefully i've got the videos does it feel weird that his dance moves on he's kind of like grooving at like a little bit of a slow pace but then he just goes crazy fast to fucking spin into a tornado and jump out of it is this let's see no it doesn't say uh, okay 34 so that would have been from roll cage that would have been soul sentiment rat man roll cage I think it's a PlayStation 1 game or wait no that was the song before 333 Oh, the, okay, that was Discovery, Kaze, no, no Tom, no Tom of Wind. That's that fucking hot air balloon game. You feel like his feet are too static. I'm gonna save this, as I should have been doing millions of times already. And then I'm just gonna delete everything. Not everything, but we'll get everything out so it's like uh, I can watch the animation. Just looking at what the frame it needs to repeat on is. way too close up hold up all the settings flash include hidden layers check that off oh 
Oh, that's not even showing up on your guys' thing. How old that? How old that? Snow again, you're right, we're not watching the snow. Sorry. We're just gonna watch this loop a couple times and then the stream will probably end. I think the feet can, uh... They can probably like lean forward and like back a bit. Yeah, cause I guess they're like a little stiff. But it's not too crazy. <laughs> it, it still feels like so out of nowhere. It feels like he's dancing, he's kind of like dancing softly, and then bro just fucking throws it down. Like where did that come from bro? What made the intrusive thoughts one? Hello Ahmed MX. I like the delay on like his thing, I just wonder if like... It probably might look less weird if he's like dancing faster. So I might just experiment with that, making his like little hand rolling thing be like way faster. This guy's about to start subway surfing. Keep it that way it's funny as shit. I mean, is it really funny that he's just dancing and then just fucking randomly fucking goes crazy for like one second? It reminds me of those videos I see where it's like, I don't know, you see, like, there's a video where that girl's like crying, and, but then like for a brief, mo like she's crying in happiness, but then for like a brief moment, she like stops her tears completely and looks up at the camera and does like a peace sign and like sticks her tongue out and winks, and then like a second later just goes back to like sobbing. Where it's just like, wait, what? There's no way I can just randomly find that video. Dave, you should have a corrupted pibby boyfriend in base game, so fucked up and evil. Yeah. What makes it even scarier is that it would be a character that you know. Hey to me says girlfriend is sex man she is sex that's so real that's what i'm thinking every time i draw her oh wait watching this right now there's something i want to test 
Um, but I will bring back all this shit I deleted first. So I want to make sure that I keep all these sketches. Because this is the kind of shit that will go into like an art book, is stuff like this. Like, it's nothing crazy, but it's like, you know, this technically is like unused art and shit like that. Same with like the sketches, just people will be able to see like what everything was before I drew it. Okay, this could be... The fucking Pengus out pose. Yeah, that looks pretty fucking crazy now. I don't know how I feel about that after staring at it the other way all night. It's kind of choppy, but it could be, uh... That could, that could be fixed. What's nice is that all I'm doing is setting like a frame number, so that doesn't make this particularly hard to edit. So I like that. guys standing here had no idea they'd be part of one of the most soulful videos of all time. I love this song so much. Why did no one ever tell me that Gran Turismo had cool music in it? I mean, he looks like he's really damn grooving there, man. I think I like that. Oh, I think I like that. 
Me think me likey. Me think me likey. Save that as Bro Wild in two, so I still have the original. But real fast, we're gonna check out. Check this out. I made this for little Saruki, because they're doing a thing. Hopefully, it's cool to show this off. Saruki, should I close this out? I think your girl's awesome. I still don't really know how I feel about these fucking colors, but... It's fun. I'm glad that you're happy with it being choppy, because cleaning stuff up takes forever, so it's fun to just fucking... Leave it nice and fucking... Dirty. Do you got paid? No, I did it for free. Cause I like Saruki. And I think their girl's cute. Drawing their character's breasts made me happy. So I did it for free. That's another animation that I'm relatively happy with. I was animating this shit and I was like, man, I'm really tired today. I need to do this fucking quick to get this done. <laughs> and this is like one of the, f sometimes animating something fast to you, you fall in love with it. And it's one of those things where this is like one of the roughest pieces of animation I've ever made, but I think making it fast made me like it because I wasn't thinking too hard about it and I'm still not thinking too hard about it. Unlike the Pico thing, which I'm overanalyzing like every micro frame of. And Suruki, I will do the final little changes to this and toss it over. Fun, fun, fun. Okay. Now we'll watch this. We'll watch this one more time. I'm big into enjoying the fruits of labor. Yeah, that's... I'm quite feeling it. I think, then this is easy, I can just extend the amount of time he's doing stuff uh, in between each one of these little things. Like, even before he switches, like, sides, I can just make it to where he's doing his dance for, like, a bit longer. Which I think the switching sides is pretty good, but I think he could use some more time dancing before his little fucking breakdance thing. Will this be in the game? Oh, yes it will. Because I know that a lot of this shit gets archived, I'll say it now while it gets archived. Uh, I don't think a lot of you guys will get to see this in the game. <laughs> 
So when you wonder why that is, and new stuff comes out, come back to this animation and you'll you'll see what I meant. You'll see what I meant when I said not a lot of you guys might see this in the actual game. Unfortunately. It's my hope though that everybody gets to see this at least a couple times in the game. People who are really good might see it a lot. I feel like he's gonna do game at the end. I see it. I see the fucking hand in the air. I just it's Gangnam style. There's some there's some part of me now that hates that he's not doing that. Is it copyrighted? Can you like not do that? It's it's not copyrighted, right? Like anybody can do that, right? Well, I mean Fortnite pays royalties for stuff. Like Fortnite licenses some of its dance things. Yeah, it's like, it's doing that little gallop, but it's not the gallop where both hands are by your nuts, it's the gallop where only one hand is by your nuts, so you have the hand, other hand going in a circle. That's just, just funny. I'll have to see if that's licensed, because honestly, while dances like that are normally pretty, uh, fruity, <laughs> uh, I feel like... In this one instance, I would allow it. In this one instance, I think that it's like funny. I think doing something like the L dance or like flossing might be a little like too much. But uh, I feel like that like thing. <laughs> Whip. Yeah, I just, damn. I might need to put that in there. What happened to the break dancing? What do you mean what happened to it? It got made. I made it tonight. Yeah, no gritty. Like, the gritty is, like, the gritty is so funny, and I think it's such a, like, beloved emote that, like, it's because it's, like, so ridiculous. Like, yeah, Gangnam Style is ridiculous, but, like, I could kind of see somebody having done that forever. Like, like somebody could have done the Gangnam thing normally, right? Like, cause it's like riding a horse and doing like a lasso. So there's probably like dads playing with their kids or people goofing around where like, you just pretend you're riding a horse and doing a lasso, like, and doing it as a dance move. I, I don't know. It's not that crazy, but the gritty, it's like, other than like maybe autistic kids stimming, I don't think like, Anybody ever in the world has done the gritty except for the guy who made it and now everybody who copies him So like the gritty really stands out as like this. I don't know. It's just like it feels like more poignant Cuz like what is this dance piece doing right now? It's just like a thing. It's like not even like what anything Do I dance? Hell no, I don't dance. I'm an animator, I sit in a chair. I play DDR, but that's not that's not dancing. It's like weird like tap dancing. That's fun. It's almost weird how when I feel like I'm watching this on like the stream preview. My eyes like register it differently than like when I view it on my Cintiq. When I view it on my Cintiq, I feel like I feel way more critical of it. And I feel like when I see it on the stream preview, it's like, I don't, it's not, it's like, okay. I don't judge it as harshly.
Did I drink enough water? Yeah, probably not. Well, I had the Gatorade and shit. I got a water right next to me right now. It's 8.14 in the morning. We're listening to Jungle and watching dudes walk through the snow. If God can hear me, please make it for it. Please make it so I finish this all at 4 a.m. So I can play Mario Wonder levels and go to bed at a good time. Please, God help me. Show the fellas some of the funny rave songs. I don't want to leak your own project. Suruki's doing a thing called Funny Rave that has goofy music, and the music is very, very good. drink enough water. Have I heard the most recent one you sent me? I don't know. I think. I think I heard it. I think it was awesome. I'm gonna watch this again. It's crazy because I'd like never animate like ludicrous stuff. I'm always working with like symbols and doing like these really limited animations. So it feels kind of weird to do these like larger animations and it's like, whoa. I really can animate. It's kind of like a nice feeling. I have to focus extra hard when I do shit like this though to get it to work and I have to do tons of like revisions because it's tough. Yeah, the random video in the corner, I'm quite a fan. I mean, I'm just letting you guys have my view of what I'm watching while I make this shit. And that's normally how I do it, is I just have videos on on the side. It's too late for Mario Wonder, but it's not too late to watch some anime. So, uh, we're going to watch some anime.
リルトに迷ってるゲマ。どうすればいいにゃ。あれ、君たちどうかしたんですか。あ、助けてにゃ。ダメゲマ。そうか、それは大変でしたね。にゃ。そうだ、うちの店の上に使ってない部屋があるから、そこに住んだらどうでしょう。でも私たちお金持ってないにゃ。<笑>大丈夫ですよ。お金を取れるほど立派な部屋じゃありませんから。いいのかにょ。構いません。ラッキーだにょ。やったにょ。でもいくらなんでもただってわけにはいかないでも、うん。そうですね。そう言われるとただというわけにはいきませんかね。ほら余計なことにするけんじゃないかにょ。なんでやってたらポチポコいなくなってるにょ。にょ。にょ。君たちうちの店のお手伝いをしてくれませんかそれで上の部屋の家賃はなしってことでどうでしょう<笑>ありがとう店長さん<笑><笑>よかったゲーム。デジキャラットよろしくお願いするにゃデジコンって呼んでにゃプチキャラットプチコにゃゲームでゲマよろしくお願いバイバイ。